And good evening, everyone. And uh, welcome once again to Nado Sensei's virtual dojo. Uh, Sensei will be with us in uh, just a moment. Um, I think that uh, we're all ready. Uh, he told me that he wanted to use the image of an express elevator because it doesn't stop at every floor. And uh, uh, Sensei, I see you, and you're now unmuted. Oh, boy. Hey, good evening. OK, are we here? Ah, OK. Probably get a few latecomers, so anything uh, from last week or whenever, uh, insights, whatever, whatever you want to open mic about, feel free. Now, uh, somebody would probably say to me, give them more time, but I think you kind of know I do this. Excuse me, touches on me here. Recap. What were we talking about last time? Well, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, so you've got all week to think about a question or an observation or an insight or an experience. So, if you have nothing, then we'll all, all bullshit for a while here. Okay. Uh, maybe not so many tonight, but last week uh, we had a lot of names I didn't recognize, not that I see everybody's name on my TV here, but uh, what about anybody who's new uh, to this program? Uh, what about a minute? Uh, uh, tell us who you are, where you're coming from, why you're here. A newer person. Anybody out there want to say hi and introduce yourself? Uh, just unmute, please, and speak up or wave, and I'll see you. I can just see old names so far. Uh, sensei, it can easily uh, go down alphabetically down the list. Uh, it's okay. If, if they want to introduce themselves, they're free to. I don't hear anything. So oh, I guess it's time to move on. Yeah. Okay. Uh, today was a strange day for me. Strange weather. Strange everything. Uh, so bear with me. I'll try to get my act together here. Uh, what I'm trying to do with uh, these two, boom, bang, okay? Uh, there is, is a very original beat of creation, okay? Uh, it even starts pre-creation, but you're getting past my pay grade right now. Uh, so it's probably a beat there, a prep and then another beat to set up, and then creation as we know it, okay? And there's a beat there. Okay, so this beat is very natural. That's what, how it works. That, that was there, and it's going on within those two beats, okay? Uh, now, it seems like... Uh, when we play with settling down, for example, uh, oh, I want to look at that as a beat. We get a certain level, and then there's a beat up and out, so to speak. Um, let's look at some of the different words. Help me in case I forget some. Uh, trading in. Let's take everything we have and trade it in. Catch the beats there. Okay. Um, downtime is a good one. Uh, uh oh, something's happening. Uh, downtime. 
and eventually, boom. <laughs> okay, when that will happen, I don't know in terms of Corona, but there it is. Okay. Um, settling. Oh, settle to a certain level. Boom. Uh, quieting, hush. Uh, let go. Let go of all of this. And in letting go, click, boom. Uh, some people use the word uh, gravity. It's never been my word, but I know Jack Lotto likes gravity. I think Moon likes gravity. Uh, it's not one of my words, but maybe that sense of gravity is a natural force. Boom. It's counterpart, if you would. Are you following me so far? I'm like sort of almost clear. Just give me a thumbs up <laughs> or a thumbs down. Are we okay? All right. Uh, breathing. Uh, breathing is a good pattern. Okay. Uh, let, let's stay with that one for a moment. Uh, okay. I, I have to practice breathing. I hear breathing is good as a practice. Okay. And at first, uh, get through that and then you begin to breathe more natural okay you continue to settle ah and it's better breathing it's uh, whatever maybe uh longer on both sides uh the calmness or whatever you're experiencing in the middle the harmony of those two beats might show a little clearer you continue Easy, following those two beats of inhale, exhale. Soon here, or eventually, you'll start to get a sense of, oh my God, I'm being breathed. It's like there's something larger around me that's breathing and I happen to be in the middle of it and it's breathing me or breathing through me. So my breath is still the same, but there's a, a breathing force going through me, best as I can say it right now. Okay. And, interesting level to first pick that up because before you were very personal with it I have to breathe better I must control all this physical stuff here and suddenly really whoa wait a minute <laughs> there's a bigger breathing going on here and that will bring you to some level where you realize uh, this big space you're in uh, oh the whole world is breathing or the whole universe is breathing Starting to get a sense of the, the bigness of those two forces in the naturalness of them. Ah. So good, good example, I think, so far. So good. Okay. Now, it seems to me that, uh, especially starting from the human condition, uh, that there seems to be more of a tendency for the positive boom, boom, boom. And when it comes down for that beat, seems it has a bad, bad PR, okay? Bad rep, yeah, bad rep. And a lot of people don't like that one. But if these are natural forces that were very original, and no matter what you think, they're going to go on, okay? So why... Fight it. Let's learn to ride with it, could I say? To accept that there's two forces, let them unfold. We could say unfold at different levels, or just un unfold. Okay. I'm going to take the approach that uh, those two forces, uh, kind of like the outbreak, those two forces. We're sort of aware of it now. You've been around for a while. You've done your yoga and on and on and on. You're kind of aware of breathing and, and all of that. But now I'm saying, wait, let's get a little bit better here. This force that's coming in is feeling itself. And this other force that goes this way is experience or feeling itself that this one is intelligent about its experience. This one is intelligent about its experience. 
uh, as opposed to I'm aware of it. Okay. Uh, I'm aware of it is a little too separate. Uh, so there's a, a type of involvement. Uh, everything talks. Uh, Moon likes hair and he likes the breathing and he, he likes the sense of listening. I call him in, but he's on a gig tonight. Uh, listening. Okay. As you allow these beats, these natural beats to go on and you get comfortable with them. Okay. That more than just be aware of them, that you uh, feel what they're feeling about themselves and this beat, what it's feeling about itself. Remember, everything's intelligent. Everything can talk. So I'm saying these two beats can talk about themselves. Uh, it would help if we're, how to say, a little more involved. Feel what they're feeling. Okay. Is that is that anything for you? Are, are we again? Are we okay so far? Did I get too too weird? <laughs> okay. Lauren says it's okay. So okay. All right. Ah. Uh, now, in the naturalness, I was thinking about, I got a nice tree out here in my front yard that I see all day long. Um, so there's a natural beat there. So there's a tree and uh, let's say uh, autumn, winter, fall, winter is coming, at which time the leaves start to drop off, okay? It's a kind of barren. Now, I, I doubt if a tree is panicking about that, but a person might. Oh, I'm losing my whatever, my, my glow. Hey, it's time to downtime or hush time or ah, reset yourself time. Okay? So let's not be fighting that. Oh, but it's negative. Down is bad. Up and out is good. Dark is bad. Light is good. Uh, don't go there. You'll screw it all up, okay? Oh, since I said in Japan, uh, the dark under is really has a bad connotation. Not, not just death, but anything dark under, he said, just in the Japanese culture is like, eh, okay? He loves the dark because it's a beat. It just happens how it shows. But if you can feel that it's feeling itself, we get a much better sense of what the beats are. Okay. Uh, at first, we kind of introduced this a bit at a heavier level. And, and we said, okay, human being now, easy. Now there's a little uh, under, and for a lot of people, it looks dark. And for a lot of people, it's, it's monsters. I don't want to settle down because the shark will bite me on the butt. Okay. Uh, yeah, at, at that heavier level, that's what it looks like. But I want to be way past that now. Let's stop it with that. Let's not go physical to a little better physical, where it's a little thick yet, a little slow. We can go faster dimensionally. And that's a, a beginning of a lead into the uh, express ele elevator. We'll, we'll get there eventually, I hope. Okay, so feeling the beats, that the beats are feeling themselves and can express themselves, hanging out with them to experience what they're experiencing, what they're saying. Okay, so oh, back to the tree. Uh, now, after the winter time, no leaves denuded, boom, start spring. Okay, start to come more alive, little green shoots, blossoms. This year, it's a better uh, crop of fruit. The tree grew a little bit. It's a little bit bigger than it was last year. There's your rebeat possibility. Okay, so no interference with the uh, autumn winter. 
and no interference with the new springtime lighting up. Okay. And okay, so far. And that we can not control uh, sense that there's different levels. So if I just hit, say Bobby's tired, and I hit a certain level, maybe that's a 15 minute nap or something, or 10 minutes to catch my breath if I've been running. And I can't run anymore, I'm out of breath. Uh, for me, that's four steps now. But anyway, it's a different story. <laughs> uh, I hit a certain level, and at that level, it's just a more nourished uh, Bobby, the first guy who was tired. So I can hit that level where, oh, I feel better now. Let's get back to running. Okay. And that, that's okay. That's fine. We're holding our, our starting norm by, by doing that. Okay. Follow me. Uh, now, when you learn how it works, you realize at that downtime, you can sense deeper. And the deeper is vibrates better. There's more energies available, is how historically we, we would have said it. And allowing those to mix makes up a better you. It's not Bobby anymore. Okay, so once you start to catch a couple of those as examples, uh, you're on your way to catching on to Express ele Elevator. You see, if we go one floor to the next, well, let's say one floor just a bit, and you can revive yourself at that level, cool. Okay, then you realize, hey, if I go a little bit deeper here, it's a little sense of bigger. It's all the same size, but the sense of bigger, and there's more energies there, ah, and they mix up better. Okay. Right. And then you hit it again. So you're going through the Bobby Robert Nado kind of pattern, however you want to say that. Uh, okay. 10 pounder, 20 pounder, 30 pounder. We can set up all kinds of different games with different words, but it's all the same thing. So you realize, hey, I can go much deeper. Might take an extra moment. But you can go deeper and and boom, and you can really recharge. Okay, because you're at that level. So once you can sense how levels work, I don't see why we have to keep slow step at a time, uh, stay at a level forever in a day, stop futzing. Okay, once you get the sense of it, a little experience with it, cool, let's move. Okay, so that's where, where I want to head because I want to I want to pass through this manifest creation uh, for those that can faster to get to the self clearing out from that involvement there and realizing in the domain of self self experiences itself big step big step cool okay so that's where I'm trying to go. Um, Anyway, in some ways, I, I like the tree story, certainly, uh, in, in that it doesn't fight the changing beats, the winter, autumn, winter beat, and the spring, summer beat. It doesn't fight them, I would say. Okay, I, I'm not that versed in being a tree, but I would say it doesn't fight them. It learns to just be present, and in that beat, it can grow, it re-nourishes itself, it produces more fruit, it grows, it grows a bit. What did it do? Downtime, touched a bit deeper, the roots went deeper, and then boom, here it comes. It's a much stronger, bigger plant, or tree in this case. Uh, so that's kind of the simplicity of it. Did I miss anything there? Where the hell are we? Elaine, did I miss anything there? I saw your name, Elaine. I know you're out there. I'm here. I'm here. Okay. No, you didn't miss anything. But I think one thing we forget as humans. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> that problem. Yes, go ahead. Um, is the simplicity and that... Um, I, 
I think, you know, there's this, this way of, um, of lining up all these steps, lining up, sensing gravity, the porousness of the physicality and the spread under, um, and allowing that spread under to, to have a, a, a two beat, the spread under to have a two beat of in and out or, um, something along those lines but we tend to complicate these things ah there we are yes go ahead and really i think it's not so much that that a tree is a nice metaphor it's just a nice piece of reality for us to um to line up to and um just avail ourselves of that form of life and nourishment. Um, does that make sense to you? I, I, I think me, I take things too much. <laughs> for some that years in my sense. earlier work, I used to hang out with trees. <laughs> Try to get a sense of what they were up to. So for me, it's, it's okay. Anyway, just a sense of it, people, just a sense of it. A uh, sense of naturalness, the sense of as humans, we tend to interfere, uh, tend to misunderstand. Okay, so I'm hoping by having you feel, feel, uh, experience what the beat is feeling. See, we're aware of it. Oh yeah, inhale, exhale, I got it. Uh, I'm not talking about, I'm talking about the beat. Again, for lack of words, experiencing themselves as a beat hearing the intelligence of what they're saying as they beat, doing the best I can with words here. Okay, so back to the different, thank you. Uh, are you finished? Yeah, I think so. I think, I don't know how if this quite applies here, but I wanna say it. I think we as humans are prone to deciding what a tree experiences and <laughs> do you know what I mean? I'm just saying, oh, it's this, you know. I mean, people decided back in the 60s and 70s that there was this cross communication going on down in the microbiome down there. And that was considered woo woo at that point. And now it's, you know, oh, suddenly science has the availability to see that that's actually true. Yeah. You know, it, okay, so now it's real for science. Because um, science did. But, you know, everybody's so ready to just decide for the tree <laughs> in a way, you know, you just decide for it. Oh, it must be this way, you know, because that's what I can experience or something along those lines. And we end up flipping it again, yeah. keep getting into those reversals where the humans come first. And, <clears throat> and because the strong tendency of be aware of. If I see somebody, I check how they're dressed and stuff, uh, but I'm not feeling what he's feeling, although I have the capability, right? Uh, but we ought to make say, well, he's wearing those kind of clothes. He must be that kind of guy. Uh, because we're aware of, and a lot of our awareness is nonsense, bullshit or wh whatever. Uh, so the same thing with a tree. I look at the tree and I'm smarter than a tree. I'll figure I'll, I'll <laughs> tell the tree what to do and whatever, whatever. But this game of feeling what the tree is, is, is feeling, uh, that's a sensing level capability. You all have the capability, dog talker, horse whispers, uh, plant. Oh, my plant. Of course, I can see it needs more water. It's not going to too much, but some people can really read the plant. Uh, 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 Elaine, you're probably one of those. You have that background. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A plant talks to you more than your neighbor who's fair with plants, right? Well, I think I, it's an important part of my existence to have that communication available. To be in a place where that's possible is important. To get so, to that level. Yeah, it's part of the practice. Or it's natural. Yeah, that's the, the, the old uh, brain map, feeling map, finer feeling map, sensing. Oh, good. Finer sensing. Yes, that's where a lot can get done. 
but I still want to continue through this eventually to self in its domain of the returning self. Okay. So thank you, Elaine. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Um, Elaine and I have been compatriots for a long time. I, I, uh, I always remember her as my older sister in Egyptian times, and of course we were related to whatever priest class, I don't know what they were called. Uh, and so this life, I often have to remind her, I'm the older brother now. I put her in her place. <laughs> in this life, I'm the older brother. In that life, you were the older sister. Okay. So anyway, we have. Anyway, forget that. Uh, okay, I think we should take a couple of moments here and play with what, what form do you want to use for this time? Do you want to use clearing? Do you want to use a, a, a down dark sense? Do you want to use letting go? Do you like the gravity sense of it. So I don't care which form you like. Okay, I'm strong with the dark. Uh, uh, but there are other forms. So since I would say, you, you have your favorite, but try a few of the others. You, you get a little different perspective with those little changes of uh, style. Okay. So pick your own style. Okay, da, 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 da. Up, 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 up. And now, enough. We can't sustain continuing up and out. It's this time, this inhale time. But feel your word. Your word is experiencing itself as a something, as an intelligent something. Ah, ah, you got the game? Okay. So, uh, retain your word. Uh, oh, Sensei again would say, uh, don't change forms too fast. You got your the pattern you're on that day, stay on that pattern for that period of time. Don't tell really change and change and change and change. It's so confusing. Same word that you chose, same quality that you chose, whatever we're calling this. Inhale, downtime. It's feeling itself the form that you're using. It's talking about itself and what it's doing. Yeah. Check in with you folks in a moment. Uh, uh, my personal experience in, in catching that was uh, I was just playing dark like a, a shutter dark. Next light shows shutter dark. But when I start doing this, feeling it suddenly, uh, it was so smooth, a kind of a uh, sweetness, niceness. Uh, for me, a lot of feminine sense of, 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 of things. Just, uh, and that's what I was hearing, sense feeling that it was feeling. And that was a different, I, it was easier for me. This, this was a nice thing. Even though I'd been aware of it before, I was aware of it. Oh, it's dark time. But in feeling it, feeling its intelligence about itself, for lack of words, you got this flavor of what I'm trying to get across. One more time and then we'll open mic if you want. Stay on your same word. And, and, and your word. With itself, speaking about itself. I don't know if that was enough turns for you, but let's try it. Open mic. What 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 word were you using, and what 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 was the force saying? Okay. 
So it's a, it's a, the beat is a force, it's intelligent, it can dialogue about itself, what it's doing. Open mic, what'd you get? Anything here? Uh, Bob, uh, the, the word I got was thick. Sorry? The word I got was thick. That's thick. your downtime word? Yes. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> and and then it then it started as as if it was almost like a soup or something, and it would start stirring, getting getting prepared for the next, what's next. Okay, so you started with something heavy and it went down to more soup like. And the rebeat is getting ready to rebeat. Uh, why did you start with heavy? That was the word. I'm, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it, but really? <laughs> That's no the word. clear, no letting go, no, no gravity, no downtime, no. Oh, no, no. Yes, I was, I was doing downtime. And okay. Well, you didn't say that. Uh, well. I'm doing thick. No, no, I'm doing downtime. Down, down and, and the time. word that, that okay. showed itself. And as downtime's going down, it feels thick. Good. And as it gets a bit deeper, it's not so thick. And it's prepping somehow for the rebeat partner, the exhale, if you would, to come on. Okay. Right. Confuse me. Thick there. Okay. Downtime, which happened to show thick. Okay. Somebody? Sensei, yeah. this is Bonnie. Go. Uh, sensei, you, you reminded me that I also used to hang out and, and breathe with the trees, and if that makes sense. And what came to me was inside a dojo with weapons that with the, the joe or the stick, uh, breathing with the joe. Um, I'm, I'm still experiencing it, but that was a, a reminder for me that the joe also wants to breathe. Yes, yeah, swing on a stick is great, but go dimensional, finer and finer with it. Otherwise, you're just a jock getting stronger shoulders, swinging a stupid stick. All right. Anyway, yes, somebody. Letting go. Hi, Hi Sensei. sensei. Oh. oh. Two. Hi, Sensei. Yeah. It's Mac, Mac from New Zealand here. Um, Mac. Mac. Yeah, yeah, ah. yeah. Ma okay, you gotta ah. say it like Mac. <laughs> there he is. Ma okay, Mac. Yes, Mac uh, from New Zealand. My my word is uh, was a, a return, and once it comes down, uh, the next thing we when it hits, it's like a breeding ground. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Certain level. Uh, <laughs> It's a breeding ground or mixing place or uh, more nourishment to produce Mr. Mark. <laughs> Whatever, yeah. Hey. So it's nice that it's showing you, a couple of folks, it's showing you how it touches something important it's going to activate, which is all probably what I've been trying to say since forever. Settle down. Get to, I called it a pool, make it simple, a pool of energy. And with that more energy, there is a rubber instead of a bobby or what, whatever, or a 20 pounder instead of a 10 pounder or whatever. Uh, so yeah, you're starting to catch yourself that, oh, what's activating here, huh? And then later you want to listen to what the activation exhale, can we call it? The activation exhale is feeling saying about itself okay All right. and a careful note thing it's not talking to you kind of thing it's talking about itself and if you don't fight it and you hang out it you'll be affected by that but it's not on your case it's sort of not that way that's something from before times anybody got a nice one Hi, Sensei. Sensei. Sorry, Anna. Go. Hi. The word I got was conservation. What word did you use? Conservation. Conservation. Okay. Conservation. Yeah. Uh, okay. 
going down time and then going deeper and deeper. And then I feel like the simplicity, but then there's a waiting so that the self can really show itself. I think I, I go too fast back out. So I have to stay in the dark yeah. longer. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're a little bit ahead of us. Not wrong, just ahead of us. You're going for the self and all of that. I was just happy with the folks going a bit deeper, just to, just to practice listening and seeing kind of how it works. So nothing wrong, uh, but just a little bit ahead of where I'm at right now. But cool, cool, cool. Got no problem here. Okay. Thank you. Uh, conservation. I never would have thought of conservation as a downtime thing. But again, uh, yeah, if, if you're going to check something like that out, you don't think about that word. It's not going to do you any. Let I me mean, think about conservation. Okay. Feel the way you say the word, yes. Possibly you sort of understand the word. Careful now. Feel the word, which is what I'm asking you to do with any word that you choose. Feel the word. It's feeling itself and it's intelligent with itself and what it's doing. Okay. Uh, sometimes we're too fast on, oh yeah, I know what that means. Like, oh yeah, there's a tree over there. But you're not feeling the tree. Or you're not feeling the actual of the I don't want to say power of the beat, of the, the force that the beat is. How about that? It's an original force also. Feeling itself, aware of itself, boom and bang. Uh, not bad, huh? Yeah. And good. I believe Patrick is standing by. Yeah. Hi, Sensei. Hey, Patrick. Yeah, I started with an image of down and dark. And then the wor word that came to me was jump, as in go oh, ahead yeah. and jump. Yeah. As in go ahead and jump. And so there was a feeling of jumping off the edge of something into a darkness. And my initial reaction was of fear, of, of screaming and kicking and worrying that I would just fall to the bottom. Yeah. And, and that's the guy I was talking about er earlier who screws up a natural beat. That's an example is what I was trying to present. So there you are, kicking yeah, there, and screaming. <laughs> now what? There, there I am falling and in fear and then just trying to relax and trust the situation and having a sense that there is an elastic net that somewhere below that eventually will catch me and take all of the energy that's been accumulated and rebound with it. Yes, accumulated energies rebounding, yeah. Uh, I would just, I'm not sure I said it, uh, but I'd be a little careful maybe in me creating a safety net as opposed to what shows here in this downtime journey. And if the sense is uh, whatever, uh, as if the forces are saying, don't panic, don't panic. There's a safety net here. If, if the safety net came out of itself, as opposed to me creating a story to, to save my falling ass, uh, yes, yeah, so I just wanted to double check that. Do you follow what I was saying? I do, yes. Because yeah. uh, the, uh, as you know, the human mind is fast and can screw things up really easy, so how to let the happenings unfold, yeah. How to let the intelligence in the beat unfold is what I'm trying to do tonight, yeah. And as we see, it's a very natural and hopefully nicer and nicer, uh, more intelligent and more intelligent, uh, start to get a better feel for, oh, this is all natural, give me a moment, and, and, ah, ba-boom, ba-bang. Oh, sensei was so, fast. Not that I want you to think fast. I, I, I don't mean that. But he had this down so well that he could be what he called himself, this old man. When he wanted to say, I'm a human being, I, I think he'd use that phrase. And, oh, you mean this old man? Uh, but within a moment, that old man could have something happen where suddenly in that same spot, 
is Uyashiba of Aikido and this radiation, uh, he liked the word emanation, is natural. And he got to such a hotsy totsy level so fast that it was mind blowing what was happening there. And anyway, just to, don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, where the hell are we, people? Ah, I just want to remind you, we've done different. Missing something here. Ah, there it is. Uh, so we've done patterns of a deeper underfloor. I kind of consider that kind of kindergarten a certain way, or at least grammar school, uh, to have you have a sense of if I settle down at a better level, you just imagine, sense, feel a better level. And that's why you can sense feel it. See, my feet feel like they're a little deeper here. Oh. From that level is a better pool of energy and it mixes up this guy. Ah, there, I feel more awake now. I was a little sleepy before and on. A little more alert. Okay. And then we continued and continued. Uh, we tried to present it in Aikido by saying, okay, you got this uke running around you, bothering you. Uh, can you settle a bit? Center, we call it in that case. Can you center a bit? And if you centered a bit, you found, oh, I can deal with them a bit better. It's a little more natural. Okay. And then we'd say, oh, cool. Now we're going to put two idiots running around you. Your center is going to have to be better to deal with two. Okay. So you center better. And when you hit that level, that was just the next floor. When you hit that level and partake of being centered or the beat, then you found two wasn't too bad. Da -da 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 -da. So that's what we're, that's how I essentially would teach simple first basics. Is that, that okay? Uh, now, all, all I'm saying is I'm tired of doing step at a time. You people have been around forever. We're all going to die the day after tomorrow, except for a few of you young people out there. The rest of us are going to be gone next week. Uh, we ain't got time to futz. Okay, you got the call and you're still in the damn show. Okay, you're still involved with me, for God's sake. Uh, you got to have a calling to put up with me. Uh, I want to eventually cut to the chase here and not have to, in our elevator setup, get off at each floor and spend a year or five years on that floor. Come on, you got the sense of it. You know it just gets finer, but there's a certain point of harmony here where you can transition, I don't have the right word, trade in for the self that's there. Okay, because it, it, it's there. I don't manifest, hidden domain. It's there. It's And there it's here. Okay, it's not there. Oh, same thing. Don't go anywhere. It's here. But interior, dimensionally finer, to get to the real core of the matter, which is we're closer to it with itself in the returning self domain. Okay, so we've used that a lot, okay? that format. Uh, I love the one by two by three by game. Uh, so we're in a one by, we don't have time to go into a one by, but if you remember, we're kind of scrunchy and I'm sort of, yeah, and I'm negative and I'm a little fearful about stepping out of the house and all of that. And we do something there. This is the downtime or this part of it. And then pretty lickety split, suddenly, it's a two by, and the two by has a certain amount of energies, a little bit clearer qualities that mix up, mix up you, the person, the character, you, and you find you can move a bit better. 
remember the one by one, I, I don't move very well. Uh, two by two, I start to be able to move a bit. Not bad. Not a pro, but not bad. Okay. My uh, sense of the world I'm in a bit better, right? If you remember. And then someplace there, we trade that in. We move from the two by two, we trade it in. Okay. And, and, and then there's a three by three. Take your time, give the energies a chance to mix. Don't start thinking about where you are. Uh, it's like a bad habit. Feel, feel yourself being mixed. Sorry, the words aren't perfect, but more feeling. And then the natural awareness or philosophy or view on the world will be there. But do the feeling first. Okay, see, we're too much awareness of. Uh, it's an old ancient problem. Uh, so feeling first is a good habit to get into. I ask you to do the same thing when we get to that, when the self returns to its returning self domain, that you you feel the aliveness of self and after a bit the core of self at that level, uh, not to range around being aware. You miss like half the creation. You just, in the big picture, screw it up. You'll be aware, but you won't be functioning. Really? 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 And you won't be able to proceed into the better of things, the next of things, because you're partial. Got to be sort of squared away to move through. Okay. Ah, blah, blah, blah. Where the hell are we? I got lost. Uh, Express oh. elevator. Oh. Express elevator. Elevator. Okay. Now, once you get a sense of dimensionality, Okay, so you've done some of the grammar school stuff, or you've sat and got into uh, uh, finer dimensions, or you've chanted. Chanting is also a good way. And chant is just a beat, beat. Remember? Ya yi, ya yo, mommy, mu, mamo. I'm just playing the beats there. As I play the beats, uh, they'll tend to show finer by the sound changing, not that I change the sound, the sound changes and the, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, ooh, it's almost not quite, but I was like, ooh, where did that come from kind of thing? Uh, it's getting finer and finer. So you're using chanting and the beats of a double chant, I don't know what to call that, the beats of the chant as doing what we're talking about and get into finer and finer levels. Is that is that okay? Yeah. Uh, well, since I would have warned, hang on a sec. Ah, sometimes chanters start to be spiritual about the chants. Uh, be a little bit leery on that, uh, as opposed to the actual experience of finer to finer to finer to finer. They keep using the sounds, but like in rote, uh, so they stay in a heavier zone and just keep repeating it at a heavier zone. And that's not the purpose. Purpose is to catch this beat to move into finer, to be a better level person, a better level character, and to catch, whoa, wait a minute, there's self here, free of all these heavier vibes. Okay. Blah. So clearing, dark down, letting go, uh, gravity. What else? Noah, what am I missing? I think you got the, uh, the basic sense of it. So I'd say there's a lot more words, but the pattern is unmistakable. Okay. You've been playing, uh, I think, with your people a lot on uh, the down dark style. So? That's correct. How are you doing? How are they doing? How are you doing? How are they doing with that? What are they bumping into? Bumping into a lot of nutrients 
that wouldn't be available otherwise. Okay, so what I used to call the pool of energy. That's right. They're bumping into that more clearly or more experientially. Yes, and then able to use that to move to the next level. So, yeah. Now, you have to be careful how, how you said it, to use that to move to the next level. I don't think you meant that. <laughs> I'm a little more than you are sometimes. So let me, let me say it this way. To touch that, to experience the mix, to be a character in your world, and then to trade it all in for the next. Okay. Well said. Thank you. <laughs> uh, he started with me when he was 16 or something. So I think uh, he's got, he couldn't say anything else. <laughs> well trained. Oh, God. Okay, questions, open mic, problems, anything here not clear to you that in 10 minutes I can clarify, hopefully? Sensei, this is Dave from Chicago. Uh, I just wanted to say that, that the darkness that you've been describing today feels almost like a staging ground. If I stay there too long, I just got to, you got you to gotta kind of get up and move around and, and do something with that energy yeah uh, so, so uh, did you say you're hanging out in the dark yeah it's kind of in that feeling of darkness almost that that deepening I, that's nice but i used to call it a travel vehicle and the travel vehicle is just to get you to another level so mm. i don't want to say uh let's say uh, some meditator is using clearing and it just better clearing better clearing he says oh there it's it's clear and it's like no no clearing is a travel vehicle to bring you to another level that should come alive be somebody be a character something and eventually be itself as you can extricate is that a good word out of the manifest into the hidden or domain of, of returning self so uh, it's a dark, I don't think it's for you to exist in it. It's a boom, a seasonal beat. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Live in it, you, you appreciate whatever it does. Uh, I don't know if I said that well, but yeah. Yes, that makes sense. Eh? Just a curtains close. We're not going to see the next, the third act of that play because you're hanging out with the closed curtain saying, what nice material. Oh, it's really closed. Wow. <laughs> no, it was just a beat to then open for the next act in your life, the next level of your life. Okay. Hi, <laughs> Sensei. Okay. Uh, how are we doing here, people? Sensei, it's Gina. Hey, Gina. So when you talk about trading it in, you're trading in level. I thought it was trading in who I thought I was. I'm trying to get to self. So I'm like trading in, well, maybe I'm not who I thought I was. So let me let all that go. But now I'm getting that it's, I'm trading in the levels, not that I thought I was so cool an artist or whatever, you know? Uh, I'm not quite sure, but uh, if you're hanging on to yourself as an artist, I am an artist. Are we making it too difficult to let go of that? No, to that's what. It in? Is I'm that sorry. what I'm letting go of, or am I letting go of the levels? You're letting go. After a while, it's it's everything at that level. Your life, your viewpoint on stuff. But you have to go into the details. That's a, a be futzing. See, what should I let go of now? Well, I never liked my grandmother. I got to let go of that. And then I, oh, I, that first dog wheel, I always thought was a pain in the ass. I, you know, you don't get. All my stuck. tragic flaws, I have to let go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. 
just say, I think it can be also a generic after a bit, like whatever, what, whatever. Letting go of whatever. And the letting go after a bit should feel so letting go, uh, especially as you're feeling what it's feeling, what it's saying and stuff. Uh, you know, that was a pretty good let go. If you're uh, bitching about your grandmother and you let go and you come back and you're still bitching about your grandmother the same way in the same degree, I think, I don't think so. It, it's, it's, you repeated it. Trade in should be a trade in. Trade in, yes. Yeah, uh, I don't know. You just, again, I think, again, what I'm trying to get across tonight is the experience of those words. That those words aren't just words, they're a force that's doing something, a major original force. We happen to be calling it clearing at the moment. But it's a force and it's intelligent, okay? It has a sense about itself and that it experiences itself. And as we hang with that sense of it, all these styles that we use ought to be, I don't know, easier, better, faster. I'm not sure what to say there. Okay. Thank you. Do something. I don't know. Do something, Gina. <laughs> ah. Okay. Uh, we're getting close to the end of our hour. Again, I don't mind hanging out with y'all for a bit. Uh, but I'm not sure how much I have to say here. I still want to go back to. to uh, to uh, uh, express elevator. Okay, uh, manifest finer energies that I added in, but all of that is manifest, but heavier, finer, vibe level domain. Uh, since it calls hidden, uh, that you can continue level to level virtually forever, okay? And I don't think you wanna have that sense in the manifest because uh, it can just get finer and then finer and then finer. Uh, well, since they would have said something like, uh, close enough is good enough kind of thing. Uh, whenever you get the balance at a certain level, let's say of the beat, okay, that if you're in, inclined, uh, you can shift to self, that self actually will begin to show, self feels itself, it's aliveness, self itself in its domain, returning self. Uh, okay, so I, I just want not to spend forever in a day in finer dimensions. Is that is that that's all I'm about right right now? Uh, you can use a dimensional game. I mean, if I have to, uh, I don't know, pick up something a little bit heavier, I might do a quickie. Boom! Next floor, more energy. Okay. Pick that thing up. Uh, yeah, it's common sense, a uh, daily usage, but I don't want to get stuck in my real journey, what I consider your real journey. Uh, I think you're interested in this self piece, this more original. So the self that's not wrapped up in the vibrations of heavier matter and finer energy matter that we can extricate. I don't know if that's a good word. We can slip out uh, through that. Remember, since I said some people catch it earlier, they get a certain level of harmony there and they start to catch, oh, there's a self here. Others catch it later, it means they gotta continue to get a little finer level. Boom, you can shift in there. Some never catch it, they get caught up in that, oh, more balance, oh, more balance, oh, more balance. And that can go on like forever not ever realizing there's a self there, that the game wasn't really to hang out with the balance level, okay? Which is, uh, uh, Tom, for example, that's why I was on you, not on you, but rem reminding you 
that home level is very nice. Enjoy the hell out of it. But it's not the forever home. That's all I was trying to say. Right? And you, you know that I'm talking to the, to the group. Uh, very nice. Enjoy the hell out of it. It represents a nice level of balance. Now let's continue. Okay. See, a lot of people will get stopped along the way because they don't understand the general sense of the map. Uh, so if you're nervous and you learn to sit and you get to a place that's calm, that must be fantastic because all your life you had a tendency to be nervous. And suddenly here's this calm experience. Okay. Wow, yes. But, and if you don't have a deeper calling, a self calling, uh, then that'll be your your norm, and good for you. You're not nervous anymore. Anytime you have a, a a little bit to sit, you can get calm, and then you learn to retain that calm, hopefully, and walk around in busy places as Mister Calm with a little practice can can do. It doesn't have to be just in your meditation space. It should be present where your your core is calmness, and no matter how. No, one UK, two UK, three, no matter all those crazy running around you. That's your core. You're the, you're the calm one. It's an actual fact. And then you need a little practice because at first we get sucked out into the craziness. It's when we practice. An Aikido person, uh, they look pretty centered. So we would like make faces at them and we'd throw them out of center. That, that was a fun trick we used to do. Uh, uh, you know, like I say, we're going to approach them and lift them. And they look really centered. We knew we couldn't lift them. We go, yeah, 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 and lift them because they, they lost their center and got involved with our craziness. Of course, of course, of course. So a certain amount of practice is necessary. Okay. And it'll be the same thing, self in the returning domain, the returning self in the domain of returning. Uh, at first, there'll be a strong tendency to get caught back up into the world that way. And you're you're at the same level as every other idiot around you. What a shame. But it just needs practice. It just needs practice. So you can, uh, I don't know the word, sustain that level of yourself. Okay. Same thing you would do on an Aikido mat using center to represent that. Uh, where you get so centered, two attackers, three attackers. You're pretty cool at that level. It just needed a little practice. That's all. O okay. Oh, where are we? Where are we? Okay, so so a lot of dimensional levels. Once we get a sense of dimensional levels, uh, your trade in, your downtime, your clearing can become more major. Let's say minor. Uh, Bobby's tired. I'll trade into. Oh, there's a floor, and 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 ah, there. I feel more awake now. So it's Bobby awake instead of Bobby tired. Uh, but once you get, again, a little practice of how it works, you have a sense of things, uh, your downtime, your inhale, uh, can cover wide swaths. Your, your downtime can uh, be virtually the entirety of the manifest universe, downtime, downtime, downtime. Okay. It's just a sensing. Not an idea, a sensing, sensed experience. I don't know what to say of that idea. No, no, I don't say idea. Okay, so we're, we're just saying you're clear enough on the baby steps, you're clear enough on the grammar school levels. Uh, you don't have to experience uh, the eighth floor and then the 10th floor and then the 15th floor. Uh, not really. You got a sense that's going to vibe finer. It's going to be nicer. You, you, you got a sense of that because you had your few steps to give you the pattern. Okay. And uh, then whatever form of trading in uh, uh, dark, uh, whatever, uh, you'll get faster at it. You'll let it, my God, that's a universal force. That's Beating and beating. That's a universal force. And at a certain level of self-domain, uh, 
that's the level it gets to. It's not a puddle of energy anymore. It's self in the domain there. It's the best I can do in words. Words are a bitch sometimes, but you got the flavor. Anything that totally is bugging you, I could maybe clarify. So open mic if you would. Well, sensei, it's Mike. Um, hey, Mike. I was going to comment on your um, your one, two, three, um, one by two by three by picture. I thought that really clearly um, showed the process, but also I. And it's only a, a, fact, a factor of the way you draw it, drew it. But to see clearly that in the one by, I couldn't accommodate anybody else in that space. I completely filled that space. But then as you went up to the two by, there's more space. There's more I can let in. And then the three by, there's ample space and, and so on and so on. And it was a, a really nice uh, graphical representation of, of the process. Yeah. And the importance not to stay in the one by because it's a pretty goddamn selfish space, basically. No, I, I, I bump into very few people that really want to stay in a one by. <laughs> uh, a lot of people get, ah, get me out of here. And the other thing I was going to say is that my experience of the, of the downtime, the settling, the going deeper, is that um, I'll eventually reach a place where I, I call a membrane. So it's not a flaw. Yeah, we and, use the word mem membrane. That's yes, I realize. And also, there's an initial um, uh, desire to kind of push through, but that doesn't work. The mem membrane just bounces like rubber. But the actual the success comes when I let go of that sense and just relax yeah. more and more and more, and eventually. The membrane dissolves. There is nothing there, and then it's down and on to the next, the next one. Yeah. One trick I learned in dealing with the barriers and membranes and all of that was uh, when I realized I couldn't comfortably pass through into the next dimension. Uh, that the trick was settle down and and get a little more squared away at the level you're at, and as you square away there, settle down more, whatever you want to call it. Then it was easier to pass through. It was a natural happening. So yes, I'm agreeing with, with, with you. Uh, so that was how I caught that. Uh, that if I was a little more balanced in the level I was at, pass through would, would just happen. Yeah. Thank you. Anybody going to be up tonight? Because you can't figure out what I said or anything like that. Or you have an insight. If you don't say anything, I'm going to have to get up and open my wine. If you don't want me to open my wine. Okay. Well, Sensei, I think uh, <clears throat> maybe it is time to open that wine, and we should say thank you and uh, give me a moment. good evening. Yeah. Give me a moment more. The naturalness of the beat, based on the original beat. Let's learn to ride the beat. Uh, Let's not try to settle down if we're actually caught up in an up and out push. Let's take a moment there to get off the up out push and ah, ride the downbeat. Okay. I was thinking for some reason, and mulling on this, in my neighborhood, the girls uh, would uh, skip rope, two girls, and they have the rope. Fancy, they have two ropes. <laughs> uh, and the girl who was going to uh, jump in, uh, like catch the beat of it, catch the beat of there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, boom. And then she'd jump into that beat and be more present there and do her fancy footwork there. 
uh, that it's just kind of like, like that, whatever moment you need to uh, write a beat, okay? The beats are ongoing. And again, we, there, you'll notice there are uh, short beats. Let me catch my breath here for a minute. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, let's continue our walk or our run or something. I can continue for a bit more because ah, I did something on that minute. Okay, two, I need a night's rest. Okay, uh, to, re to revive myself, a 15 minute nap's not gonna do it. I have to go to sleep in my own bed. Next morning, natural reviving, okay? Uh, I need to take a, a three week vacation because I just exhausted myself at work. I'm gonna burn myself out if I keep this up. So I'm getting three weeks this year. Boom, 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 bang, bang, bang. So you come back to work tanned and raring to go kind of thing. Uh, and the tree with his year beat, God knows how long this Corona beat is, not quite ready apparently. Uh, so, but within the great beat there, uh, that, that beats and dot, dot beat and hoodoo beats. Uh, uh, so it just depends what you're working on, which beating timing you want to use, whatever that's worth. Uh, I am pooping out. Nobody, nothing. We'll take yes, that's a, it, it's Mike again. I just wanted to say there were a couple of expressions which you've used from the very first time I ever trained with you. One was easy the eye. Oh, yeah. And the other was open and allow. And, I, you know, maybe I'm just a slow learner, but I'm afraid it has taken some decades to actually understand what those words mean in terms of why you keep using them. Um, yeah, that's part for the code. That's the way it works sometimes. Uh, I mean, I look at some of O Sensei's notes uh, from a long time ago, and uh, wow, I just see sometimes think, whoa, that's so clear now. <laughs> you know? uh, yeah. So, hard for the course. Uh, so, out of all of that, basically, you're going to have to have some patience with some of us because some of us are slow learners. Yeah, it's not that I'm, oh, maybe I am. Uh, <laughs> do the best you can, my child. <laughs> I know. You got there sooner, though, and you've been doing it longer, and so... Yeah, but remember, a lot of that was my stupidity factor. I've told you. Well, since I said, man, you can catch on to this in three months. I believed yeah. them, uh, but my 30, 40, 50 years of hacking at it is my stupidity factor. It doesn't mean you all have to follow my style or your style of stupidity factor. That, that's why I'm trying to give you some heads up on this stuff. Uh, uh, you don't have to go through the next finer dimension and then the next finer dimension and then the next finer. Once you get a sense of it only gets better and the settling down whatever seems to help, uh, boom, you, you can do a bigger sweep. Be more, I don't know, inclusive, whatever you want to call that, a bigger sweep. I mean, no sense a sweeps were big time to go from this old man to what he could stand there as and what would happen, what would emanate from that core being self thing there it was amazing, mind blowing. Uh, so I'm just trying to give you a heads up, watch out for. Uh, for the finer to finer to finer to finer to finer, because it can go on virtually forever. Enough will be enough. What's enough for you? Whenever you think you're kind of balanced and you're, okay, I'm balanced now, whatever, whatever. Self, self, are you here? And if you still feel like you're still in that heavier or finer vibration rate, well, then no, not quite. Uh, so, I don't know, check it out whenever you think you're at a balanced point enough to check it out. 
if you can't sort of what, for lack of a word, make contact or, or, or have it show, well, then continue finer and finer levels of balance. Nothing wrong with that because each level of finer balance, there is a character with a core and he'll function better. You're talking about one by two by three by, or here you're at a five by or something. You'll function better. So, hey, that's better than nothing. So even in your ongoing process, uh, it's plus, plus, and plus. All right. Now we can screw it up by saying, oh, shit, I didn't make it to self. I only got this beautiful hum of harmony. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Stop being that. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the world. Uh, come on, world. Come on. <laughs> uh, anyway. My okay. sense is that it's difficult for to accept that there isn't an end point that you can get to and say, right now I'm, you know, I'm the, I'm, well, I'm the master or whatever. But, but in fact, it is a journey, and we can't actually even imagine the the end point of the journey if there is one. The stopping points, if you would. Along the journey are pretty good, man. Or not, that was better than a Bobby any day of the week. I'm not going to bitch about that. I just don't want to stay there forever. I want to continue this stuff. But boom, at that level, I can produce certain things at, at a certain acceptable level. I don't bitch about that. Utilize it as part of the training. You know. Uh, so doing Aikido, you can't quite find yourself when you're a blue belt. Fine, but you're a blue belt. Hey, that's kind of cool. Then you become a brown belt and you can't quite find yourself yet. But you're a brown belt. Hey, cool. Don't bitch about being a brown belt. That's better than a no belt. You see, so we have to be careful how we're construing things that we don't get in our own way with our stupid human nonsense a certain way. I don't know even how to say it. Okay? Whatever. Talking to the Thank world. You. Thank you, Mike. Uh, Laura, and you getting edgy up there? Uh, not at all, Sensei. <laughs> okay, people, I'm ready to cut and run anytime. Nothing, nothing, I'll cut and run. The naturalness of the beat. Let's utilize it. Uh, let's enjoy its beat with itself. Uh, I don't know the words, but can you get this flavor? Of, don't fight autumn, winter, and enjoy spring, summer. And when winter comes around, of course, of course, it's that time of the year and the tree is okay with it. That's something like that. Ah, be okay with the seasonal changes that we're involved in. Right? And we'll learn to ride them uh, faster. Okay. We'll take bigger, we'll be able to get the bigger beats very, very soon. Once you get a sense of beats, then you'll just get a sense of finer beats. And then you'll have a sense of, uh, I don't know what to say here, much bigger beats and, and, and much bigger, bum, bum, bum. Uh, so bad word, bad word, but you got the flavor, I hope, I hope. Okay. I think that I shall never see a poem as lovely as a tree, a tree that may in summer wear a nest of robins in its hair, and on and on. Who wrote that? No? Okay. Joyce Kilmer. He got killed in World War I. 1914 was probably written. Beautiful little poem. Anyway, did I shock you no end? Did I I actually know a poem? I think Let's get out of I think here. that you uh, never cease uh, to amaze. Uh, yes. A beautiful poem from memory. Thank you, Sensei. Hey.
Thank you, people. Uh, Thank you. Remember, next week, if you have any questions, I'm here at the beginning, so you can dialogue anything from the past. And uh, I see a couple microphones open. Does anybody have something they'd like to continue, uh, like to say? And I think, thank you, Sensei, and good evening, everyone. Thank you. Good thank you, Sensei. Everyone. Thank you so thank much. You, thank, you. thank you, Sensei. Thank you. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you all. Good night. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, everyone. Good night. Thank you, Lauren. <clears throat>